What is up everyone? So I just finally got to watch Batwoman, the first episode of it. Uh, I've seen a lot of reaction from everyone. Like, I've been, not reviews say, but I've seen on Twitter, just like YouTube videos recommended for me, people talking about Batwoman and you know, how it's bad and all this and that, yeah. And it's like woke and all this and that. I remember seeing the trailer. The trailer was, yeah, it was woke. I have my reaction up to it. Uh, surprisingly got a, a okay amount of views, but yeah. I, it was not good and I'm not a fan of the CW anyway I stopped watching Arrow the Flash uh, Guardians of the or not Guardians Legend of the Guardian or Legend Legends of Tomorrow that was what it's called you, I don't even remember I watched uh, Black Lightning was that what it was called yeah and I watched a lot of those and I stopped uh, Supergirl is what made me stop Supergirl went full SJW they went full retard in season three because they banned these um they banned them guns uh because uh i don't know i thought it was stupid because they were just trying to send a political message and i was like bro why are you doing that in this tv show you need the weapons to fight the aliens <laughs> golly and then um flash just became dumb stupid stuff arrow just i don't know i just got tired of it I just kept falling down uh, Legend of Tomorrow was only consistent, honestly, it was just consistently okay, but I didn't really, it wasn't enough to keep my interest in Black Lightning, I never really, it was good, but I never really cared enough for it to keep watching it, and that was my sort of CW DC experience that just went down the drain. I honestly, I'm not, I'm not gonna watch any of this stuff, maybe I'll watch Arrow, just cause I think it's the last season, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. And that's, that's, that's my thing there. The whole, the whole thing with this is it's gone woke in SJW. It's, it's stupid. They, they don't care about, I mean, there's like a plot line, like a sort of minor storyline in one of the seasons of Arrow where they're talking about banning, talking about how guns and weapons are bad, but yet all they do are just shooting and killing people with guns. So I don't know, but, uh, but I'm here to talk about Batwoman, not about that. So Batwoman, this first episode, uh, it's very uh, poorly made, like in terms of the way it's shot, the way it's written, the way it's acted. Ruby Rose is a terrible actor for this role. Uh, I didn't like her in the trailers, but I mean, just I'm trying to base her like without anything, just looking. Is she getting my attention? Is she acting properly, showing the right emotions for this? parts in the move for this parts in the show and she's not like i like i'm she's uh, she's trying to be a badass but at the same time she's trying to be like emotional like uh, sophie or whatever that girl you know and it's 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 not written and then her the thing that stuck out to me that i thought was terribly done like it's it's not even established yet and we, us as the audience can't feel anything for you is her and her dad in the relationship because her and her dad apparently your dad doesn't like or wants her to be different doesn't want her to be you know because she's not straight obviously uh she's lesbian but uh it's the the way they try to portray it or do it it's like yo i don't feel it man because like i this is episode one like bruh this is episode one it's not even episode four three or four where you could probably do this. We don't understand anything about your father and your relationship with him because nothing's been shown, okay? All we see is flashbacks of you and your sister uh, almost dying. Uh, uh, spoiler alert, the sister apparently is thought to be dead and they're out she, throughout the whole, the whole first episode. She's apparently alive at the end, you'll find out. But um, that's the only flashback you see and then her and Sophie you don't see anything about her dad, what's happening with her in her past and all that. And it's terribly, it's terribly done. But I mean, this, this show is not, it's not actually as woke as I thought it would be. I'm gonna be honest. It's not, I, I maybe I'm not, I'm missing the stuff, but, uh, I mean, there are some weird, just like pacey moments in the show where she's just like, yo, I'm gonna borrow that suit. It looks better on a woman. You know, I'm gonna show Bruce that, uh, I hope Bruce doesn't kill me for doing this and all this and that. But uh, it's it's poorly written, like the pacing. It's not the acting by Ruby Rose isn't good. I don't even like Ruby Rose as an actress. And uh, one thing, Ruby Rose physically is not like I don't know how she's able to fight all these people off because she's so skinny. Like I'm just saying, biologically, like you can not. There's no way you're gonna be able to beat up all those guards and 
take all those bad guys out with your stature because he's just way too skinny you have to like physically change your body you have to like go to the gym and do work out put on a diet you know be on the bench press and all this and that like me myself i can't even like i work out but that's like i takes forever to do that and ruby rose is like skinnier than me i mean she's physically not able to do that just looking at her but i mean i guess it's a tv show so i guess you can write that off but um it's a bad show it's a bad show but i'm gonna keep watching because i love to monetize these crappy shows uh i hope it gets more woke because i really want to make more videos about that but yeah overall it's i'd give it like a three or four out of ten based on this first episode but it's just a terrible show straight through and through it's not there's nothing great about it there's nothing like horrible where you just turn it off immediately but it's very cringy it can be very cringy like i think i was a little because i'm expecting it to be so awful the show that i wasn't as affected by it when you have such low expectations it doesn't you know you usually it's not as bad if you uh i talk about x-men dark phoenix you know i was expecting like the worst movie ever but i liked it because i didn't think it was that bad as what people were making out to be so it's not not like this with batwoman i i think this is a terrible show but it's not as terrible as i thought it was gonna be but yeah and uh yeah you can and if you don't want to give them your money or whatnot or just i don't know give them the ratings you can watch the show online there's a lot of ways uh, i'm not going to mention that you probably can figure that out yourselves but yeah uh this show they said in in a span of one words terrible poorly directed writing is not very good there's just there's numerous pacing nothing's developed properly fully i get i guess because it's see, the first episode but it's not like we as the audience when you try to play an emotional scene we should be feeling something okay and you got to understand that it's not developed yet so you shouldn't be showing us that type of scene yet in, in this first episode but yeah you guys let me know your thoughts down below uh if you think it's good or bad uh, um I, I still haven't seen really much SJW stuff as I thought there would be. I think there was some stuff, but I just didn't pick it up, really. I'll have to probably rewatch the episode, but I can't because I think I'm going to lose brain cells if I watch it. Because Ruby Ro Rose is just... Uh, I didn't like her any of her movies I've watched, and I just... I would not have picked her for play Batwoman. I don't know much about the comics, but I do not think she's doing a very great job of, of uh, portraying Batwoman. I mean, I've read, like... In the Justice League stuff, in the I can't remember what comic I've seen. You know, you'll see Batwoman in there, but like she doesn't come as I don't know the way the portrayal that they're trying to do in the show. But yeah, just let me know your thoughts down below. Whatever you say, if you hate it, you love it, whatever. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join my channel, and make sure you ring the bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram; those links are down below. And until next time, guys, be amazing.